guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so today we're going to continue working on this area and i'm going to actually tear down start tearing down this building i think we're at a place where we can actually start doing that so just a word in advance i'm not feeling that well i think i have a cold or something so if i feel a little bit off that's probably why um not sure my my pulse has been a little bit higher than normal i have low blood pressure so it kind of makes me feel really unwell when <clears throat> i get sick so anyhow uh yeah we got most of this part done we moved it forward it looks like that bug with the um terrain is gone now so it's probably just needed to be relogged but we can start uh tearing down this and we'll take it from there so try to get some of this stuff removed first and then we'll take it one block at a time, try to save as much resources as possible. And I'm not sure if the dogs are still moving this. Yeah, I think I deleted the, um, the logs from before. I moved them over there, I think. So hopefully we can get these to be moved. So we'll do, um, tell them to do that. Not sure why... Oh, there's there's a little alcove there. Okay. I was looking at it and I'm like, is that in the wall? <laughs> Alright, so we'll get them to remove those. And... Let's see here. We can probably leave the sign there. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to move it across the street. I'll put it over there for now. And... Let's see here. What else could be done? I'm going to leave this up for now until the dogs move all the wood over to this location and i'm not sure if that's going to be enough to tell you the truth so i'm going to just add an extra row, row there hopefully that will be um enough to move it all let's try to count it oh yeah it should be enough i don't think there's like a four by four so it should be fine all right, so that's good. We got that part done. Uh, some bricks are in here. We do get some return on that, so we can always reuse that for our uh, next project. So, and I've been thinking about the um, layout a little bit more, and I'm not sure if I want to go with an L shape because I need a brewery. I know I I need that. So, and then I need a dining area as well. And I prefer to have more room, just in case more settlers or guests come, and then we have, you know, ample seating for everyone else for that's here as well. So, we'll have to consider that when we're actually building the...
Alright, so I've given myself a lot of room to work with. Uh, we have that basement still that we need to figure out how we're going to work in there. But uh, we got... I, I bulldozed that, you, that house that we weren't using. And uh, we can make use of this. So what I'm thinking about doing is kind of like a T-section kind of style building. We'll have one that goes this way. And then another one that kind of goes towards the back here. And one section will be for brewing kitchen. And then we'll make use of um, other things uh, for the up upper part we'll have the entire dining room so that's at least the plan uh, we need to kind of plan out all that so I'm gonna pause the game and then I'm gonna kind of get the general idea of where everything's gonna go and then we'll take it from there I'm not sure how far I need to go this way and stuff but um, I was thinking about leaving maybe two blocks on the edges I'm not sure maybe three um, well, let's see how, yeah, see, I'm not sure if I want to do the same design as the older structures with the, uh, extrusions like this. We might do something like that, I guess. So I'm going to want to give some space over here for an L section and we'll do this. And then I think it's just like one. So it'd be like something like that. So I need to follow that all the way down to the other side here. I want a door somewhere around here. Actually, the more that I think about it, is that going to line up properly? Um, no, it won't. Okay, so I'm going to have to readjust how this is laid out, I think. And we'll see if we can't make that door a little bit even for where we need to come in and stuff. So I was thinking about maybe around here. So we'll use that as our base template. And then we'll make windows and stuff from that point on. So something like that. And then we're going to want corner piece. And I'm not sure how wide I want it. Uh, probably a few windows. So. Something like three maybe. Yeah, three should be wide enough. Uh, I'm not sure.
All right, so we got uh, it laid out uh, at least. So we got this part uh, set up. I'm leaving it about a couple windows in length. So a couple of these things. And I'm putting doors on all four sides. So just in case there is like when there is flammability, um, because the, the, the developer said they wanted to add flammability, right? So I wanted to make sure that there was enough exits just in case. And if the building burns down, that's fine. But I want to make sure that the settlers are fine, right? So um, that's why I'm basically added four doors on uh, here over on these sides and directly across. So that way there's always going to be pretty much an exit. Uh, we might want a couple... Um, Staircases going down from the, what do you call it, the upper floor where the dining room is and near the exits a little bit. We'll have one probably on this side and then one on this side. Uh, that way they can easily get up and down <clears throat> from the uh, area. And it's more centralized on these corners, so I think that would probably be better for having it that way. So. Uh, the stairs, those are going to have to be removed and filled in. Uh, we need to readjust them a little bit so we can get it to come up somewhere else. I'm not sure where, but our stairs goes all the way down to the uh, bottom here. So we might be able to relocate it a little bit and then... Oh, that scared me. Um... 11 deer just arrived, uh, but we can like do like a spiral staircase or something like that. Uh, if we're using the stairs over here to go up and down, then we could probably put like a spiral staircase over here or something, or even in this corner, but I want to leave that open for something else, uh, for like brewery or whatever. And then the kitchen, um, I'm still trying to figure out the layout, how I want things interior wise. But uh, we might go ahead and divide this up a little bit. I don't think we're going to need like that much space for um, the brewery and stuff like that. Um, I could be wrong, but we'll divide this up a little bit. So I'll put a door in here. And fix up these walls. So they're like that. And then what we can do is we can have that as a brewery. This is our kitchen and we'll have to figure something out. Maybe an entertainment room or a medical room or something like that. I'm not sure. I don't know if we're going to need this much space for a kitchen. Um, I can't remember what the size we had before, but I don't think it was this big. But um, might leave that for now until we get it figured out. Alright, so I ended up um, deciding to go with a stone brick interior. 
I've also laid out the supports for the upper floor, so we can start building on that when we get the first floor actually set up. Um, for the bottom part, for this part down here, uh, for the floors, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use stone bricks as well. Uh, that will allow us to make sure that the flooring is fireproof. As far as the second floor, uh, we're probably going to use stone bricks just so we can encase this entire room with like actual um, bricks and stuff like that. Now the only thing that would be exposed would be the windows and that won't matter too much because it's going to be basically just a shell around the structure I think. Uh, the upper floor might be wooden but um, the main floor if the whole building burns down the stone should still remain so it should be pretty easy to fix if um, that's the case and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, and then over here what I'm doing is I'm slowly digging out this area and then that way we can start um, make our staircase down to the pantry over here since our pantry aligns pretty much directly here. So if we go up you can see it's kind of like that right there. So I think that would be the best spot for it and then we can connect it up directly to the pantry and then we can fill all this in uh, on our old system and then that will give us a lot more room. But uh, yeah, that's basically what I got there. I've been telling them to mine limestone and trying to get as much as that as possible so we can work on this um, at our own leisure basically. So I'm just telling them to mine all this cobblestone stuff out. but. Yeah, outside of that, that's uh, basically what we got done today. I'm pretty impressed with the progress. Uh, you know, at least we got the planning done. It's going to be a massive building. I would say even yeah, about the same size as that, I would say, maybe. Um, yeah, about the same size, give or take. Maybe a little bit smaller. But given that there's going to be two floors and this one has like three, so there's it's going to be a big building. And we might even have three floors with this one because I'm going to have to do some funky stuff with the roof so it's all set up properly. So, But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. If you're Again, if you're new to my channel, there is a Discord server, uh, which I will be posting the community polls for the next game. So if you're interested in staying notified for that and you can choose what game I play next. So outside of that, thanks for watching. Peace out.